Welcome to another edition of Dan Factoids. We're going to be talking about a variety of things and in this sequence it's going to be a bit different than the usual because they are short fire questions and so we're going to stack them so you can really get a lot of value. The first one comes from someone who was an instructor candidate and uh, said that the question came up in their discussion whether or not one could dive with a pacemaker. That's an excellent question. Now there are three things to consider. First of all, one has to consider the condition for which the person is taking the, case ma the pacemaker. So if the person's got ischemic heart disease or heart failure, a tendency to thromboses or complications, then clearly they can't dive whether or not they've got a pacemaker. The second thing is you get pacemakers that can or cannot adjust to exercise, but they're simple pacemakers. In other words, it's only when the pacemaker detects an arrhythmia that it actually kicks in. But the arrhythmias are not lethal arrhythmias. By contrast, you get so-called defibrillators, and they are pacemakers as well. So it's defibrillating pacemakers, and those cannot be uh, used during diving under any conditions. So, the bottom line, firstly, the cardiovascular issues need to be addressed. Secondly, the pacemaker, and almost all pacemakers today, are rated up to six atmospheres. So pressure is almost never an issue, but should be checked. Uh, pacemakers like Mctronix, for instance, are rated to six atmospheres. The person should be able to exercise at least to seven kilometers per hour on a treadmill, which translates to about seven mets or metabolic equivalents, and it cannot be a defibrillating pacemaker. Okay, so that's the first question that came up, and on a related note, we had someone asking about a pacemaker that they had put in, and they wanted to know whether they would be able to dive, but they were concerned what about defibrillation with a pacemaker? Well, the important thing is a pacemaker is always put on the left side so that you can still use regular defibrillation or an AED. So pacemakers are not an issue and defibrillation will not damage an AED if it's necessary. hope it never will be, but it is not an issue and therefore you don't need alternatives. I hope that answers your question and thank you for asking it. Great thinking. And until next time, cheers, safe diving.